In this video we're just going to have a look at converting one of the more classic uh, website world templates. In this case it's minimal wide and we're going to apply the FOMO template and have a look at how to use the content box editor to get the same kind of style content as in the FOMO template. So you can see at the moment we have a, a standard website with standard drag and drop content. which if we check the home page is just using the drag and drop editor to throw snippets into the page. I've already duplicated the site so we'll go and apply the template to our copied site instead and see what we get. Replace the color. There we go. Change our site wide template. And we'll just publish the changes on our copied site and have a look and see what we get. Okay, so here it is. Uh, and you can see essentially it's the same as it was previously. Uh, all our content on the home page is exactly the same, just a little bit wider. So in, by copying the template, we haven't actually done a lot, but the template is now ready to. Uh, be used with the content editor, content box editor. So what I've done is I've created a new test site called FOMO example and this is a new test site where I've chosen the FOMO template and the great thing about content box templates is that they pull in the example content into your trial site. So what we'll do is we'll have a look at the content box editor and how we have uh, created the content for that site and you can do the same uh, under your account if you want to create a trial site choose FOMO it will pull in the content so let's just go there so now we're on our FOMO example site and here you can see the content box editor in action we know we're using the content box editor because the editor mode is an over content box and with our other website we were using the standard drag and drop which we can change by opening that window, clicking the editor mode, and changing it to content box. In content box, it's essentially the same as the drag and drop with the sidebar snippets, but in this case we have a whole series of stack sections with different formatting and layouts, uh, which create our home page. There are some special widgets, such as the home page feature slider, which allows us to um, add a slider to the page based off our feature products and also a subscribe snippet. And editing the content is essentially the same as you would using drag and drop just with different sections. And you get a couple of different buttons here such as ones which allow you to modify the section up and down and also edit the way that your content is displayed, background colors, so on and so forth. But the basics of it is you can drag and drop snippets, same as the drag and drop editor, into any section, like so. So now we'll quickly just go back to the our copied site. And we'll go to our home page and we'll change this from an over drag to content box. save our changes. So by default your drag and drop content will be pulled into one section and we can add another section underneath that. So we might just choose a new section like so. We'll change the color, background color, we'll make it dark. There's a whole lot of settings when you click the spanner icon for a section. You have the ability to do things like change position, width, textile, so on and so forth. Add an image in the background uh, like this. But for now we'll keep it pretty simple. We'll also change the height of our section. We'll make it 60% so that when the public view it on the live side it'll be 60% height. like so. 
let's have a look. If we scroll down, you'll now see that we have a new section underneath with some content in it. Our featured products, if we had any, are still showing in the background. So the one more thing I'll do is I'll show you how to put in a homepage slider. Really with Content Box, it's a case of just getting in there and having a look and seeing what you can do. The main things to consider are this four-way arrow, which allows you to change the height and also move a section up and down. So if we wanted to move this up to the top, it then moves the section and rearranges it. So for now, I'll create a new section. And I will choose just this, this section again. You've got a whole lot of different options here, including slider sections. But we'll just keep it simple with this one. And we'll go create a sales section. We don't want any of that. And we'll save it. Now what we need to do is scroll down the page and there are some content sections here like home page featured slider, featured grid, latest posts etc. Uh, if we go to custom code it'll show a whole lot of options because we want the sale items. So we'll scroll down to the sale item slider here, home page featured sale. Now as this little placeholder text says, it says it requires products to be set to promotion homepage on sale. So we'll just do that now. Let's go to shopping. Products. Now I've already got some promoted items that are not homepage featured. Sitting there, they're just standard feature products, so I'll convert those. Promoted items. Let's check all these. Oh, actually, I've done it already, but what I would pretty much do is change to home page on sale. So now, if we have a look at our example website, there are our products. I've set them to home page on sale. And they appear in our slider section. So that's pretty much the basics of, of how to do it. If you um, have any questions, just get hold of us on Facebook or via support email and uh, we can help you out.